For many of us, Stuart Little was a classic childhood story that we grew up with, about a mouse that can talk, who was adopted by a human family. There were a few games made about the story, but today, we're going to take a look at Stuart Little 2, the game, the history behind its speedrun, and the man who changed the game forever. Stuart Little 2 The Game, developed by Magenta Software and published by Sony in 2002, is a 3D collectathon platformer. It isn't in the same category like your other classic PS1 games like Spyro or Crash, but to some, especially us speedrunners, Stuart Little 2 holds a special place in our hearts. The speedrun requires us to collect 30 out of the 36 jeweled rings over 6 levels to unlock the final boss fight, Falcon Boss. The game reaps characteristics like having the worst controls you'll ever experience, boring auto-scroller levels, one frame jumps, and some of the most stressful moments speedrunners will ever experience. The game doesn't have any glitches, it all comes down to movement, and if you've ever played it, you'll understand why this makes it so difficult. As another era of Stuart Little begins, with new records and time barriers being broken, I thought we'd take a look back at how it came to be, and what made it possible. On the 19th of February 2015, a player that will go unnamed would upload a 36.48 a run that would stand as the world record for the next six years. A run that would stand the tests of time. This run, for its time, was very impressive. Over the next coming years, only a few players would take Stuart Little 2 seriously and get runs very close to the world record at the time. Players like Jax the One, who would submit a 39.26 in January of 2021, and GamerGuy19, who would submit a 40 minute time a month prior. That was until the main character of our story decided he wanted to run one of his childhood games, and that man was Sour. This decision would lead to big changes within the game, and a rivalry between two runners that would push the game to its limits. Around June 2021, Sour would start running, live streaming his runs to Twitch. Some PBs were lost to time, but the earliest PB I could find was a 4501. The first recorded PB was on the 28th of July, 2021, getting his first podium position with a second place time, beating Jax the One with a 38-13, and creating the greatest sour clip of all time. First try, please. Oh, you god gamer, I'm back. I'm fucking back. While this was happening, another runner would take notice of Sour's interest in running Stuart Little 2, and that runner was me. Oh. I had known Sour for only a little while at this point, as we were both Tomb Raider runners. I enjoyed watching his stream, and Stuart Little really intrigued me. And so, the race to a new world record would begin. We were both struggling to get under the 37 minute mark. A 36 minute time was very difficult to get. The world record holder made it hard for us. We cleaned up the run, adding death abuses, and found the most optimal lines to take. Although, this wasn't enough. Sour and I needed a push. A prize, you could say. So, Sour and myself virtually handshaked on a $50 bet on who would get the first 36. This really set our rivalry off. Three days after Sour set his second place time, I would beat it with a 37-26. Unfortunately, a lot of our PBs are lost to time, but we were neck and neck to achieve the second world record Stuart Little 2 had seen. The trash talk was real. It was just a matter of time. And on the 9th of August, 2021, I would secure the new world record and the $50 with a 36-23, beating the old world record by 20 seconds. Yes, I got it. I think I got it. I've done it. I've fucking done it. I did it. Yes! Oh. oh! Fuck! Bro, my fucking heart, man. But Sour's story wasn't done. This wasn't the end. 
He saw an opportunity, he went away, and decided to make the hard game even harder. Sauer returned only a week later and absolutely obsoleted everyone who came before him with this run. Done. Fuck. Oh my god. Woof. Fucking hell, man. New world record. I did it. At least the <laughs> world record was 36.23. I got 35.27. Oh my god, man. Finally. Woof. Sauer had set a new world record with a 35.27 broke a new minute barrier, and made 34 possible. He returned fronting two new skips. The sewer's face block skip, skipping a whole section of the game, which required us to go out of our way to collect this face block, and then save and quit, risking a crash. Instead, Sauer found that we can make the jump without the last face block, which saved over a minute, and a new route in the level upstairs, which saved about 30 seconds, which was a huge oversight beforehand. This record would stand tall for over a year. Sauer had changed Stuart Little 2 speed running forever. The route of the run is very hard now. The face block skip is an extremely hard jump. Both your first jump and second jump need to be at the last possible second, and a lot of runs will and have died here. Recently, the Stuart Little community seems to be blossoming again with runners returning, new world records being set, and new barriers becoming possible. With Jaxa1 getting the first 34 with a 34.54 on the 7th of October, 2022, and myself setting a new record two days ago of recording this on the 29th of October, 2022 with a 34.40. Stuart Little 2 as a speedrun isn't popular, and the history isn't as rich as some other speed games. But to us, Stuart Little 2 is very special. Lifelong friendships and very good memories have been made. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing, and have a good day, I'll see you around.